Hello and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today we are talking about Tropical Storm Darby, which has newly formed in the East Pacific. Let's start off here with the current stats of the storm. Currently, Darby has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,004 millibars, and is moving west at 17 miles per hour. So, Darby is the fifth name, fourth name storm of the Pacific season, and it is expected to become a hurricane. Now, this is the fifth storm in the East Pacific because we did have Bonnie transfer from the Atlantic to the Pacific and was mostly an East Pacific storm. Uh, but this is technically the fourth name storm, but fifth storm. So we could be seeing another hurricane here. Luckily, this is a fish storm. Uh, Darby is expected to become a hurricane on Monday and stay a hurricane until Wednesday into Thursday. And, of course, all the cone is out in the water. We don't really have to worry about that. But arrival time of winds with wind speed probabilities to expect to become a hurricane. So tropical storm force winds are very likely 80 to 90 percent at this point. Now let's move on here to our satellite imagery. You can see here that Darby has a well-defined center right in here. It has plenty of thunderstorm convection, especially around the eye. To be honest, this is a very good looking tropical storm. And to be honest, it's looking more like a hurricane than it is a tropical storm just by satellite imagery obviously i know that it is only at 45 miles an hour but it has the the look of a hurricane <clears throat> or at least getting to that point <clears throat> so we have our current storm information on tropical tidbits and weather nerds start off here with our hurricane models generally going to be a westward storm right around that 15 degrees north parallel for the next 48 hours then takes a slight jog to the north up to 20 degrees north from 48 to 144 hours from now <clears throat> so the GEFS is showing that slight jog here at about 24 hours to 144 hours just about a 5 degree north shift similar with the GEPS, just a more gradual shift uh, from now until, I believe this is 144 hours from 15 to about 17 degrees north. And the European Ensemble showing a actual curve here, starting now and then going a little bit to the south, about 14 degrees, and then taking a jog back up toward 18 degrees from now until 144 hours. <clears throat> and finally, our intensity guidance. So, the storm is expected to become a hurricane, maybe even a Category 2 storm, but most likely a Category 1. And after it peaks at about 72 hours from now, it is expected to gradually fall off and eventually become a tropical depression again at hour 132. Of course, this corresponds with that general shift toward the north. Of course, as it goes further north, and further north, it's going to get into colder and colder waters, and eventually we will see it start to dwindle and start to lose strength in terms of winds sustained. But a good increase here, and we are on our way to a hurricane. So here's the GFS, and here is Darby. Darby takes that shift toward the north right around here, but also intensifies greatly down to the 980 millibar range there so i think the lowest we've seen here is 988 and the european model here showing that intensification having a, happening a little slower but eventually getting there down to i believe that's 989 oh did we see 988 as well so and that is 8 a.m on july 13th 8 a.m on july 13th so they're on very similar pages pretty similar spots as well you know it's looking like this could definitely be one of the easier storms to predict here as these models are showing pretty much the same thing now this leaves at about 11 p.m on the 14th leaves a screen in this case so let's take a jog over to the central 
Pacific here. Uh, you can see that this storm is starting to slow down a bit uh, into 1,004 millibars on the European model here, and then just a tropical wave through Hawaii. Now, the GFS also has that tropical wave just a little bit further to the north, so we really don't have to worry much. Uh, let's actually take a look at some of the winds. I don't think we have to worry much about this storm being an impact here in Hawaii. Not even close. You have that wave. Another day in the neighborhood. So, no big deal there. But the storm at its peak intensity just around that hurricane mark. So, let's go back here to the East Pacific for the European model and just see the difference here. Uh, you can see that about the same deal. Uh, low end hurricane. But, albeit... Uh, this is going to be a, I'm not going to say forgettable, but less impactful storm. A less impactful storm just based on the fact that it's a fish storm. Uh, we're not going to see any land impacts. Like, as I said, Hawaii, just another day in the neighborhood. Uh, maybe a little bit of rain. Not much wind at all. No big deal. But that is all the information that I have for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative and useful, please consider liking this video, subscribing, and hitting the bell. It helps out a lot. But that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.